Hey friends, hey wellness buddies, people who are interested in living healthier lives. Well, today we're gonna to talk about the resin burner from Young Living, my last month's essential rewards haul. Um, I had showed it to you guys and a couple of you had asked about uh, wanting to see it and do a video on it and I was totally planning on doing a first impression video. In fact, I filmed a first impression video and the footage got lost and oh, it was just a mess. And I was really disappointed because my first time experiencing it and using it, I filmed it to share with you guys. And um, now I get to share my thoughts after using it the first time instead of you actually seeing me use it for the first time. But uh, nonetheless, I still want to share with you my thoughts and feelings and experiences with Young Living's uh, resin burner. So the resin burner um, comes in this nifty box and you get it for like 30 something dollars I think once you're a wholesale member and uh, your product volume though when you buy um, a diffuser or the resin burner is usually about half of that and um, if you don't know what product volume is that's probably um, for another video where we can talk about um, points and how you can um, get lots of them so then you can get free product and how you need to be on essential rewards for that but that's a whole other video but anyways I got half the product volume for the amount that this cost and then on the back of it it says use the whispering essences from the Young Living's resin burner to transport yourself to the ancient land, simply place a few pieces of resin on the burner and take in the aromatic spear to the desert. The resin's vapors will deepen your meditation and invite a sacred atmosphere. So, one of the reasons why I was interested in using this is uh, during one of my prayer times, I uh, used frankincense for um, my devotions and I just diffused it in my bedroom and um, man my time with the Lord that day was just really powerful and just I could feel his presence very strongly and uh, not that you need essential oils for that but I just noticed that day that it was heightened so I was excited to see what the burner would be like and to use the frankincense now what comes with your burner and uh, is a bag of frankincense resin and um, it says to put like about six little pieces of that and when you open it up it smells just like frankincense, just like the oil, but it's, it's to me, it kind of looks like crystallized ginger. Let's see if I can show it to you here. Doesn't that look like crystallized ginger or like that candied ginger there? It doesn't smell like it though. It smells like frankincense. It's kind of like a chalky left residue on it. So you also get the resin burner itself. And so this is made out of tin. It has the lid here. And it's got two little metal side things here to kind of click it in so it stays put. And then you've got an on off switch in the front. And then a cord to plug it in and then a toggle here to determine whether you want it on high or low. How much um, kind of like incense you want to fill the room. And then um, it says that this can get up to 300 degrees. Uh, which can get very hot so you need to monitor it you can never have it on unless you're you not you can never have it on but you need to be in the room while it's on and you need to monitor it and it needs to be out of reach for children uh, I guess because it gets so hot and what else it says you need to wait till it's completely cooled before you clean it and you need to clean it after every use now it's got a ceramic plate on the outside and then a metal plate on the inside and then we've got my residue here that needs to be scraped off. Now I burned it the first time. Woo! <laughs> I burned it the first time and um, this is what was left and I don't know if I burned it too long or if I didn't burn it long enough. Maybe those of you that have used the frankincense resin burner can tell me but this is what I was left with and then they gave you the scraper to scrape it off. So when I've tried to scrape it off, it is very challenging. Like it is charred on there and so I'm not sure if maybe I didn't do it quite right or if I need to put some elbow grease into this and to get it clean um, but yeah there you have it <laughs> that's what it looks like after the first time of using it now when I burned this the very first time the smokiness coming out of it was very very mild it was not like billowing clouds of smoke it was just very um, small kind of like with the Young Living diffusers it's just a small amount coming through and um, the smell was very different. It did remind me of incense. When I was in college, I used to burn incense, um, and I liked it. I just thought it was very peaceful and calming. And then uh, when I met my husband and we got married, he really couldn't handle the smell. He didn't like it at all. Now, he loves Young Living oils, and he does not mind me diffusing anything. He loves it all. 
And so when I did this, I did it for about an hour, to, um, burned the frankincense resin, and then um, turned it off, and then uh, went out that night. And when I came home, five or six hours later, the room still smelled like what I had burned. And so I thought maybe my husband would be bothered by the scent, and I was just waiting to see what he would say. And he didn't say anything. It didn't seem to bother him. And so I thought, ooh, green light, woohoo, yay, I can use my my resin burner and, and not, you know, bother my husband because who wants to do that? <laughs> so um, I did when I purchased it, I wanted to get an extra bag of resin um, and they were sold out and it's now been a couple weeks later and they're still sold out. So it's nice that it comes with some so it's not like, you know, you have to wait forever to get some more resin, but um, yeah, that's about it. So I just wanted to share with you guys my opinion, my thoughts. Do I love it? Yes, I do. And um, I'm just excited to figure out how to get this off of here. <laughs> Maybe my husband can try to like scrape it off for me. So that's my first impression, my first experience. I do love it. I'm going to use it some more. And um, it's very peaceful and calming. And those of you that have used frankincense just know how awesome it is. And uh, I'm excited to use it more. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you Thursday with another try this, <laughs> not that. Thanks, guys. I will see you next time. Bye. I picked it up at, um, also get a scraper. Like, hello. <laughs>